Hello my friends and welcome back to yet another Jerome Total War 2 commentary. Today I'm going to be bringing you the Suebi versus the Iceni. It is a battle fought on the map Ascaucales. It's in the northern part of Germany. It's on medium funds and as you can see I switched on the fog again. It's night time and I switched on snow. And hence I'm playing in the northern part of Germany. I actually see snow. Not like last time where I ended up in the middle of Greece without snow at all. So yeah, my army here, hence it's on medium funds, I decided not to bring any skirmishes, and especially because it's night, um, the troops most likely don't see each other before they engage, so ranged units don't really matter unless you get them in the back of the opponent's army. So yeah, I'm on my right side one spear wall to hold this flank as well as to prevent cavalry from engaging. Then spear brothers, my sword masters as my general, uh, a unit of sword ma masters in between the spear wall and the spear brothers. Uh, next to my general another unit of spear brothers, then berserkers. These ones are supposed to do my cutting power and I hope that they will deliver and again spear brothers on the flank. Why did I select to put spear, sword, spear, sword, spear, sword, spear? Well that's very easy as um, I want these sword units obviously to cut through but these spear units to hold the ground and also if the opponent decides to charge into my line from the front or from the back with his cavalry I can also just turn around with my uh, spear units and try to take that fight rather than needing to peel off my flank the cavalry unit and he being able to force uh, me to expose my whole flank to cavalry engagements but I also have three units of cavalry with me, I have them hidden here in the forest. Noble riders, one unit and then two units of riders of the hunt. Um, yeah, the only units I can see of my opponent at the moment are these chariots and his general which is also chariots. So two units of chariots and I think, I'm not sure if um, chariots can be used in foresty areas but I think they suffer the same penalties as cavalry like the charge won't be that great and also with these trees they won't be able to move as good as they uh, possibly could on an open area and also they aren't that cheap I think but here we will see what they're going to do here we can see them just casually riding into the forest then deciding otherwise yeah, I'm just moving forward with my army, making sure that these units are hidden. This one is exposed, so the opponent sees this army here. And yeah, you just saw a couple of flags there. So he gets drawn into this fight here. So my cavalry, which is going too much soon over here, can flank him in the back. Um, let's just fast forward a bit here. As this does take a t a quite a bit until it gets started. Also, you see on the bar down here. It is quite a bit in favor of my opponent. So the sh the only thing I'm scared about with these chariots is this uh, the fear effect they have. But yeah, wait, now we need to play again. And now we can see most of my opponent's army. Four units of Britain slingers, painted ones, chosen sword band and painted ones. These painted ones are equivalent to the naked warriors of uh, yeah, um, Suebi. But the chosen swordmen are quite good. And here another unit of chosen swordmen. When they're going to position themselves over here. As they saw most uh, parts of my army moving over. And I decided that instead of marching further forward. Just, let's just position here in the flank. He still didn't see this cavalry units over here. They are just very slowly marching forward, creeping up, making sure I can attack him there without being seen and land then the deciding surprise attacks in his flank as well as back. Yeah, now I saw here, oh dang it, there are more units. Two units of spear band going to march up to attack my back. I then decide to get my spear wall as well as my sword masters pointed at that direction. I was hoping to be able to just clean these units up very quickly before 
um, he engages. I was actually expecting him to attack with these guys and his normal force at the same time. But he decided against it. I was quite happy with that as it gave me time to just yeah, m move my units and answer to that problem there. And now he's moving he in his position forward. My cavalry is in position now. So what did I do here? I thought these, want these units wanted to, uni wanted to unite with the army as they were marching like this. And I sent my spear um, wall over here and the sword masters further forward so I can get the cut off and attack them and kill them. And then I see that he's pulling away, which is obviously understandable, but then I was like already starting to worry like what does he have planned? Does he just want me to pull these troops away and then come with his chariots and try killing me off there? But then I have the spears there, so I wasn't quite sure what's going to happen, but you will see in a second what his plan was all along. Um you know, here the chariots are coming over. I'd immediately pull back here into the forest as this hopefully will give me a bit of cover. I pulled the, put the spearman in front, the chosen sword in the back. There yeah, you see now. But then here I see the ma the pro veteran riders, two of these units. I just attack a charge orders with my um both of these units and decide if I join in now with my main army over here, I'm going to lose everything. So I'm going to activate some abilities over there, like anti cavalry tactics and headhunt on the shield wall on the um, sword masters. And then I decide all in charge on this army here. If I can beat this one down and have enough survivors, I can hopefully defeat the opponent there. Uh, so yeah. I'm marching forward now to be able to see everything of his army, so I can give them the attack orders I want to have. I also decide then, yeah, well, fuck it. I don't want to lose all of these units without putting on a proper fight. So I send over another unit of Spear Brothers. As these chariots are... They didn't get any kills yet. No, they got... No, no, that's... One. No, zero kills. Six and twenty on the cavalry. 11 for my sword masters got 11 and my my spear already fled as it turns out yeah, here I just charge right in I choose two units to attack the painted ones one unit on the um, slingers I've routed them pull back immediately with my um, cavalry let my spear brothers and uh, here ch chuck a couple of javelins and then charge in here I charge in all the way this shows the sword been already down three men so is my general. I'm going to pop the abilities soon on all of the units I have. Here I allow all of the berserkers to just help out cleaning up these painted ones as they are not going to be able to withstand that onslaught. As you can see already down to half strength. But now this is what I was afraid of. He uses his chariots to attack my back and he actually chooses to attack my spear brothers rather, rather than my general. And they immediately waver. The fear effect plus the kills they got. So I decided, yeah, let's use my cavalry. I wanted to charge in the back of these units, but decide otherwise and let just charge into these guys. The painted ones already routed on the left flank here. They are wavering in the middle. They are wavering. His slingers here have got ten kills so far. My sword masters already down to close to half strength. Now I use my survivors of the left flank to just clean up the chosen sword band. My general going to go after these slangers which he doesn't pull away and he just charges r with his chariots right into my um, blob of troops on this side here my sword master is routed my spear brothers are going to take up the fight now they're up to how many kills 20 so not all that but here I managed to route this units and he charges into my general 28 men now but then I get I catch them and they're not being able to they are not able to pull away down to three and they are going to rout. So that was great for me. I charge further into all of these slingers. As soon as I have these guys cleaned up, as it happens now, I immediately move over here. My cavalry is coming to the support, but well I can't really charge in here as long as there's a spear band, so anti-cavalry units alive. So I'm go I give the attack order as I wanted to get the rid of the cavalry, but 
or charge in the back. Hopefully, if the spear band of spear brothers manage to hold out as long. But they are just before I arrive, so I pull around now with my carry. One goes over here, one to the other flank. Meaning I'm going to have three close combat troops left in forms of 44 Spear Brothers, uh, 28 from 28 Berserkers, so that's great. Add my Swordmasters, my General 26 or 56. Um, yeah, plus my cavalry then, right off the hunt 11 of 28, 22 of 28, and my heavy or my noble riders 23 of 28. So all that great. And he's just marching now. I want. I was planning with these guys to just charge right in, but then I was like, nah, I'm not going to give him the chances to eventually route one of my units. So I just position them there, I get my other units close by, and I pull the cavalry here back. And I'm going to try and attack these veteran riders from the back with my riders of the hunt. There are only 11 men, and they are not really that valuable. So I decide, yeah, well, I just do that move. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, here you can see him counter-attacking. I pull away. And this is actually what I wanted as he follows me and pulls away from his spear band. So I used this unit, which I placed over here, to just follow up. I didn't want to run in there, so I pull a bit over there. Now he attacks me, counter-charge there, counter-charge with these guys. He's down to six men. Pull out again immediately so I don't lose too many units. And you can see they're up to green already as they got just a couple of kills on these cavalry of my cavalry units. I pull back, he follows me and counter attack again while he is pulled away from his infantry and now I will be able to route his cavalry. Even though my cavalry is making quite funny moves around here and getting uh, javelins chucked at them. I have my units placed here and was just waiting for them to come back to me. But it turns out I don't really have to after I routed the cavalry. I managed all these units basically routed by themselves. So let's have a look at the statistics. My best unit I think yeah were the... No, it was my general actually, 53 kills. My other sword monsters, God versus cavalry, hammer and anvil and everything, 29. These guys only 12. One of these Spear Brothers, I think, yeah, this one here got 28 kills. So this was basically the whole three troops that I sent to fight against two veteran riders and two Spearmen. They didn't do all too horrible, but yeah, they mean I lost and the chariots as well. These Berserkers didn't lose a man and killed 40. That was great. My Swordmaster with 53 kills, good. And here the riders of the cavalry 30, 30 and 43. So all in all it went quite well for me. My opponent here, the slingers 0, 3, 7 and 10. Definitely not worth it. Um, and this is the reason why I didn't choose to bring any. I had originally two slingers in my army. But then I decided otherwise as these guys do take quite a bit of time to get kills and I would need to send them all the way around the enemy's back and then it's in the forest so even then a couple of stones are get going to get caught in the uh, trees and I didn't want to have all this hassle so I decided let's get sh let's just go with a full on close combat army. My opponent did count that quite nicely by surrounding me even though I, if I would have been in his position and would have done that I would have attacked immediately from the front as well while uh, attacking from the back. So he sandwiches me and brings me into trouble, but um, the way he did it now, he allowed me to choose which fight I take. I sent in three troops, yes, it was a sword master's unit, and two spear bands, so it was actually a third of my army, I just realized, but um, of my infantry army. But I managed to hold out there long enough for the other, for my other units to just clean up his whole left flank. And if he would have had all of these units on one place, he could have used his cavalry to his advantage and fall me in the back and rout my troops. So I think that could have gone a bit better for me and also not bring these slingers. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, then please leave a dislike and also tell me then in the comments why. I will try to improve in, um, in the next video I'm going to do. And see you next time.